I think a good starting point for our discussion would be the ancient Vedic culture of India, one of the world's great and, and one of the world's earliest religions. The Rig Veda is, is considered by all scholars, I think, to be one of the most uh, beautiful uh, composite of religious hymns and deep philosophical discussions. And, and yet when one reads the Rig Veda carefully, one discovers uh, an enormous emphasis on a mysterious, uh, apparently hallucinogenic substance called Soma. Yes, you're quite right. The ninth mandala of the Rig Veda is entirely devoted to singing the praises of Soma, and yet we do not know what Soma is or was. R. Gordon Wasson spent a considerable portion of his life researching this problem and reached the conclusion that Soma was Amanita muscaria, a mushroom that is symbiotic to pine and birch trees uh, throughout much of the north temperate zone. However, uh, scholars have cast doubt on his identification of Soma. Nevertheless, uh, what we learn from Wasson's scholarship is that plants with hallucinogenic chemical principles in them have had an enormous impact on shaping the psychology of various cultures, both pre-literate and literate, throughout the world. It seems quite clear that the references to Soma and the Rig Veda were not really symbolic. They refer to some actual uh, plant substance. Oh yes, definitely. Mm -hmm. Some sort of plant substance was prepared and ingested by a priesthood who then used the ecstatic experience induced by that plant as the basis for all of their metaphysical and philosophical speculations on the nature of the universe. The case of Soma is by no means unique. My own field of uh, interest was uh, the Amazon basin, where we don't have a great uh, written literature, but we do have an extensive oral tradition and a tradition of hallucinogenic plant use that persists to the present day. Mm -hmm.